Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I want to tell you why you should not be storing zip file backups on your server. First, let me explain what that is. Most WordPress backup plugins, they have a feature that allows you to save the backup zip file somewhere on the server. For example, I currently have a plugin installed. It's called Backup WordPress. And if you go under Tools, there is a Backups option that that, that, that plugin adds. And it, it automatically creates two scheduled backups, a daily and a weekly. And the weekly backup is a complete backup, which means it backs up the database and files every week, Sunday at 3, and it stores them in this folder. As you can see, this folder is pretty difficult to guess. These characters in the middle are randomly generated. So hackers don't have a predefined URL template to go by to find these folders. But if they do find those folders, what they can do is open the zip file, inject their malicious code, basically hack the zipped file instead of your main WordPress site, because these zip files have far less security than your main WordPress site does. So they, they inject the malicious code into the zip file backups, hoping that you will restore it to your main site. And when you do the site restore, which means you take the backup and make that the live site, then your site is hacked because the hacker put the bad files into the zip file that you then restored. It's actually quite tricky. Uh, you wouldn't think that they would do that kind of thing, but they do, it does happen. And it all comes down to timing, of course. If you never restore your zip files, then your site never gets hacked through this method. If by random chance, a hacker puts that code into that file at the exact right time and you have to restore your site, all of a sudden, your site is hacked. You don't know why. It could be because the malicious code is in the zip file. And that is why these plugins also offer options like you can see at the bottom. You can back up to Dropbox, Google Drive, Amazon S3, and, and a whole bunch of others. So what that does is it still creates a zip file, but it doesn't store it on your server. It stores it in a third-party platform where hackers have far less access to it. What you can also do is after backups are run, just open this folder in your FTP, download the zip file, and delete the file from your server. And you can always upload it when you need to use it, if you need to use it. So in this video, we learned why we don't want to store zip backups on the server because it can be a major security vulnerability. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from the OAP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like and share this video if it helped you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out our social media feeds and check out wplearninglab.com where we write WordPress tutorials every single day. Talk to you soon.